Asheville. Local time is 11.41 a.m. Please remain seated with seatbelt fast until the seatbelt signs turned off and keep the aisle clear of all carry-on items. In order to support social distancing, we will be deplaning a few rows at a time. Beginning with the aircraft, beginning with the, beginning with the front of the aircraft to the back. A little bit of uh, 360 stuff. All right. There's three shots I want to get. I'll explain to you right now. <laughs> I want to get. This is uh, behind the scenes footage, by the way, right here. <laughs> this is this is uh, this movie making magic doesn't just you know Spielberg. You know he there's a lot of planning goes involved. We're going over the dam. We're gonna get one with it over the dam. You know, so it look okay. like a drone. We get <laughs> uh, another shot. Um, I'm gonna put it really. I'm gonna have you shove it down the side of my pack. And real high, so like a drone going above us as All we're right. walking across. And then we're gonna do airplane arms uh, going across like this. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, here we go. Fontana Dam. Hot damn, Fontana. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna drop my GoPro in right here. Splatoosh. Oh, Alpha. 4C, nice. Dragon Rally. The biggest problem is. There we go. You can't see the display on this one. That's the biggest problem with this thing. Uh, now we've started. What time are we looking at here? What time do we get going? It is, oh, I got to move my watch. Two, it's three o'clock. Three, 3 p.m. We got five miles. Oh, we got to get up there somewhere. <laughs> nah. Cool. Quite a few different cars. There's a McLaren for you. <laughs> Here we go, entering the park. One thirteen is our campsite. Is that a shuck shake or shuck shack or shake stack? Shake shack, shake shack. There's a shake shack up here. <laughs> and and this is how we start <laughs> with a straight up, right? Yeah, it's a nice, gentle rolling stream. Each roll is about 2,500 feet up. Oh, there you go. That should be empty this year. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that is a big turd. That that, that doesn't count as a bear, man. That's just bear <laughs> shit. Chuck stack. Chuck stack! That sketchy ass tower. I. Not afraid to say it. It's not enough for me. There's not enough railing. I'm not good with these kind of heights. But it's a great view out there. 360 view. These steps are steep as fuck. Oh, they're like a ladder. There we go. Mike's way up there. Packs and shit are down there. And this is it. So not afraid to say I'm afraid. All right, here it is. Camp for the night. Mike's got this Cadillac tent pad. I'm gonna make it work with some trees here. Camp coffee in the hammock. Just now in porch swing mode. This is the muddy water source. And actually it's easier to get way back down there. To 
today. Got about 12 miles. Little, little late start. We'll get there. Probably six. I don't know. We'll see. Shouldn't be that hard though. Hopefully get in earlier than we did last night. That was pushing darkness. Darkness! And out of here we go. Field. Molly's Ridge. Very, very bald. The clouds are like uh, just coming through every now and then. It's just a big mist field. So very creepy and cool. Look, see the shelter. That must be Molly's Ridge. And we just walked up it. I'm a sweaty fucking boy. Holy cow. That was hard. It was a big climb. It's like 300 feet in the last mile or less. Actually about like a half mile. But here we are. All right, Molly's shelter. People sleeping in here. Whoa, I don't know about that. <laughs> Sketch as fuck. I'm gonna have some lunch while I wait for Mikey. Mikey, he likes it. It's cool. Is walking through like I think there's a rhododendrons or something like that. I don't know. I'll have to look it up. But every now and then it's like jungle. Oh, and the trails try to trip me at least three times today. So far, I've stayed upright. Monday morning. It's windy and chilly, but it's not raining. Spence Field, shelter, 9.22. Yep, we're the last group out again. <laughs> 13, almost 14 mile day today. Should be fun. Nice shelter, nice people. Hung out with. They all going different ways. Water's down the hill that way. Shitter's down there. I don't know what's next. We got uh, Rocky Top in a mile and a half. Thunderhead after that. Should have had some spectacular views since uh, this wind we had last night cleared us all out. This is gonna be like this all day. We'll never get to our campsite. But that's well, it. but it's not gonna be like this all day. <laughs> the first real open view we've had in a day and a half. How long we've been doing this? trail though I spin straight up the mountain and I don't believe it switchbacks so it's all good. Reservoir he's like you kind of see the reservoir some some I reservoir down there. Damn I see some of the yeah, water down there. Yeah we really got a good day it really cleared out with all that. Don't let anyone tell you that up is hard. Down is hard. <laughs> These are ankle twisting motherfuckers, I tell ya. Been a slow three miles out of camp. Seen some cool shit, but it's a roller coaster. It's a lot up and down, and the down is tough. First view I've seen in a while. Most of the views are non existent because there's so many trees. So, 
Enjoy it. Less than a mile from camp. Maybe there'll be a better view there, but uh, I'm tending to doubt it. This is what 14 miles on the AT looked like. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's go. Day. Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Tuesday, four. Leaving Double Spring Gap shelter. It was chilly last night. It's chilly this morning. I look like a crazy man in my, in my sweats. I mean, my, my shorts. But we're supposed to be out of here at 8:30, which is way better than the two times of 10. We're at now 8:37. Let's go see if Mike's doing. Do you want me to talk really loud in this video? <laughs> I'll be quiet so you can enjoy the serene nature. Okay. <laughs> you never look at it. I just got to make sure it's running because sometimes I was doing a whole sp a whole spiel and I'm like, it's not even running. <laughs> Damn it. Probably the best part of the trail so far. Just enchanted forest, mossy pines down everywhere. Continuing the ascent uh, to Klingman's Dome. Uh, not quite two miles in. Got about 500 feet of elevation to go. Not too bad, but uh, just to give you an idea how cold it was. I don't know if you can see that, but we're running into some frost as we get higher up. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool. I think it got down to 38 last night. Now that's, that is a great view. Holy shit. All right, the day is paid for. <laughs> we got it. Oh yeah, topical. <laughs> as high as we're gonna be. Oh Jesus! Fall off this thing right here. Oh, and they gotta wreck it with the cars. Well, we made that decision and we got we got paid off. Yeah. Skipped the water at Mount Collins Shelter been, uh, because it was an, a mile, half mile up and a half mile down, and we we're we were able able to find this source of life. 
<laughs> and that is it. Spring coming right out the side of the mountain. Uh, almost 14 miles in. A mile and a half to go to camp. It's after five o'clock. This day has been a doozy. This is our longest day. Well, it's turned out to be our longest day. Because of the Klingling Dome, going up to Klingling's Dome, then going down to the parking lot, and then going back up to Klingling's Dome. So that is um, that added a lot of my like a mile and a half plus a lot of elevation. This is the assault out of Newfound Gap. I'm thinking it's sweet heifer. Reading is fundamental, man. It's sweat heifer. That's what they can call me. I'm a sweat heifer. Sorry about the bounce. Ice water spring shelter. 1.3, yeah baby. Cannot tell you how excited I am for this day to end. Gonna get changed. I'm gonna sit up the hammock, get changed, maybe eat, and crash out. Damn. Day five, Wednesday. Leaving Ice Water Spring to Tri Corner Gap. Tri Corner Shelter. Oh, hold on. This is going to be treacherous. Good morning. Thank you. There we go. Lost Mike to a sprained ankle. His uh, parents are picking him up in New Newfound Gap. So he's got about a three mile trip on a bad wheel. Better to be safe than sorry. I got about a 12 mile trip on two worn tires, <laughs> but I'm doing fine. Supposed to be another pretty nice day today. Apparently maybe tomorrow we'll get some rain, but if I can go five and a half, six days without rain, that's a good day. That's a good trip. Nothing like a stupid Ass descent right out of camp. Warm up the knees. Famous Charlie's Bunyan. Another part of the AT. From this standpoint. Picked a bad time to not use poles. That's why I, I yeah. know that's there's there's not a whole lot of forgiveness there. I just yeah. slid on my ass. I said, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and this guy's well, kind of stuck. <laughs> I'm not stuck. You stuck, Mike? No. <laughs> well, we can't go up any further. Well, you live here now. So. Yeah. I'm yeah. <laughs> stop almost, going up. <laughs> I almost made friends with a squirrel. I'm sure he could be having food. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he'll help me down. <laughs> <laughs> they won't be up. <laughs> 
Here you go, Charlie's bunion. You want to pull? No, I don't want to drop it. All right, we're out of Bunyan, Charlie's Bunyan area. The gentleman I talked to three days ago, two days ago, said once you get past Mufon Gap, it's a lot nicer, a lot more views. Well, that may be the case, but we'll see. The trail on this side of the mountain versus the first two days. Um, although we're getting back into some of the deciduous and all the rhododendron the leaves uh, is very nice. I've already lost 600 feet of elevation <laughs> in less than a mile and a half. So that's not bad. It's going fast. Which means maybe there'll be a lot more of this level trail for a while. Anywho. No mic, rip, <laughs> rip mic, peace out. <laughs> Wish you were here, you missed some good views art. All right, I have a five, four and a half miles through the day. Man, those spider webs are just wicked, ugly, ugly. Um, been hiking for a long time. Finally got a really nice view since Charlie Bunyan. Just see the layer upon layer upon layer upon layer upon layer. It's very cool. Here I am, a little over six miles in, halfway for the day. Less than three hours hiking. Um, <laughs> there's really no good place to stop. So this is as good as any. I'm having lunch, sitting down. My next biggest concern is getting some water at the next campsite. But other than that, feeling pretty good. Should knock out this day pretty quickly. You also might ask, what does a hiker eat for lunch? Anything he wants. <laughs> I got a, a chunky bar, some wild safe catch tuna, good protein. And uh, what's left of my bag of Cheez-Its, Cheez-It crumbs. So that'll get me through to, I'll take a snack and then more after that, so. And I just came out of lunch and a nice couple who had just passed through here said if I'd only walked 40 more feet, I could have had lunch with a view. <sighs> Isn't that just my luck? And that is a good view. Oh my God, look at that. Awesome view. A little low on water. Water sources are not real great here. This is what I'm gonna get my water from. I'm gonna make this work somehow with a leaf or something. <laughs> I only need about a liter, so it's not gonna be a ton. Coming up on mile 13. Uh, just about to the campsite, try corner or not. It's been a lot of this today. A lot of super green, super lush, old ass, prehistoric looking forest. Very cool. The trail itself hasn't been too bad. I mean, uh, looking at 3,000 feet up, but I've also lost 3,000 feet, so a net zero. Kind of hurts a little bit to think of it that way. All that work and you neither higher nor lower. Try corner shelter. Here it is, Thursday morning. It wasn't supposed to rain until this afternoon. Well, it started raining last night. 
like 11 o'clock. It's almost 8 o'clock in the morning. So the thing is, it's only 40 some degrees out right now. Well, my hand is warming it up. It's like 40 something. Um, other than that, it should be an interesting day. seven to eight miles to Cosmonaut shelter and uh, yeah but it's gonna be a cold and wet start not looking forward to getting out of bed why would I <laughs> peace out a little AT <clears throat> a little AT life Woo! It's a little nine almost nine o'clock little bird Nine o'clock. It's raining like a motherfucker. Not really. So this is Tri Corner Knob Shelter. People sleep in here. Boy, I'm not sure why you'd want it. No, it's not bad, I guess, except for the mice. I'm completely packed down. I'm just refitting for the rain. Gonna make some water here in a second. Finish making some water. Almost packed up. We'll be out of here shortly. Maybe. Perhaps. Not really. 1,510 meters of speed. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Got to make sure I get it Saturday. So I can say Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Sunday. Keep it going. I think this is a helicopter pad. Swirly. Good looking wind, not good looking. And here's the trail to Cosby Knob Shelter. There's our active news area. Well, we'll go check it out. Because. I'm going to my day if I want to quit. We'll see. All right, I had lunch. I weighed my options. I'm here at fucking Cosby Knob Shelter with the Bear Advisory. I'm miserable already, so I'm gonna make myself more miserable and uh, try to put in seven more miles to fucking whatever gap that is. Davenport Gap Shelter. And hell, maybe at that point, I might even call Mike, because I'm almost done. Shit, motherfucker. It's gonna be a long damn day. I did that first seven and three, less than three. I figured this would be another three. So that takes me to five, five, five or six. So I've been in this camp 6 30 and 7 o'clock, so it's not a big deal. See you later. At least the heavy stuff isn't gonna come down for quite some time. All right? Alright, I've made it to Mount Camera Lookout. It's an extra one and a half miles for me, but uh Oh my god. Totally fucking worth it. Look at that. Mike, you'll have to do the side trip to get up here. Because this is really impressive. 
Agora I uh, thought to myself, self, you don't want to draw a mile, draw a walk an extra mile and a half. So I'm like, yeah, you do. Wow. Let's go inside and uh, take a wee break. Creepy. If there ever was creepy. You could sleep in here, I heard. Well, I'm not sure why you want to do that, but you can. I'm what? As a skunk. Is that a Alright, here's the situation. situation. Um, I just passed Davenport Gap shelter. Because, um, well, I can hear I-40 from here. And I'm only two and a half miles to the end. So I just said, hey, I'll be done today. Um, <laughs> what does that mean? Like a mm, 19 mile day? But, uh, you know, I just, after being in the rain for 24 hours just about here, uh, I'm done. And it doesn't make sense to just to set up to walk two miles out in the morning. So if I can just put the two miles in today, why not? Butter. All right. We're kind of out of the trail. Did I kill this bear? Oh, I did not kill that bear. Appalachian Trail, you found gap. We came from Two days ago, Pigeon River, 1.6. That's all I got left in this park. This is the Newfound Gap. Or I'm sorry, Davenport Gap. Road. I'm assuming that's the AT. There's a post. Big Creek Country Store, one mile. I don't think so, bitch. Not when I can get out of here in one mile. Typical fucking AT. Oh, you're close. Here's one more fucking climb for you. Dumbass. Think you're close. You ain't close. <laughs> Foot travel walk. Bitch trail got me, finally. After a week of trying, I slipped. Fell right there. Son of a bitch. I have like so little to go. Fuck. Anyway, you can hear how little I have to go because you can probably hear I-40. <laughs> That's basically my end point. Son of a bitch. Ah, oh, nice. So she almost got me like six times a day. Finally, she reached out and got me good. Mm. God damn it. Oh well. One fall. Oh, oh, I shouldn't talk. She might be pulling some tricks on me. She knows I'm trying to get out of here, out of the gauntlet. Safely. And it's just raining harder. Getting slipperier. <sighs> See? It's slippery all of a sudden. First river river I've seen on the trail other than the trickle. Although we've had a lot of rain now, so who knows where that's coming from. The one and only river crossing of the trail. Well, I, I think I covered uh, Cross this one twice within the last mile. Sadly, we're done. This is it. End of the road. End of the trail. Is that? Yep, same thing. I shouldn't say sadly, but 
it was a good time. Definitely a challenge. A challenge even more than I was expecting. Wow. I'm back. I'm back, baby. All right, let's head out to 40. I did it. Smokey's end to end, baby. The Pigeon River, I give it you. In the Smoky Mountains. Keep on delivering. There's I 40, yeah. Yo, you made it. I did make it. Hey, nice job. I, <laughs> I crushed it. <laughs> These all look too special. Ooh. Bedded nails. Ooh, that sounds good. Gaelic ale. What the hell is that? Froghorn IPA, Dale's Pale, and the French River. You know, I'm going to go with the easy one. Really? Now, hold on. That's interesting. I said beer. Jeff knows his beer. You know what my dad's favorite though is? Is the Kolsch. Nope. The brown ale. No, the the bed and the